There are some things in life that capture one's soul. Like design that goes beyond the ordinary. Compelling beauty and grace. A sweeping curve. The perfect line. In the pursuit of design, humankind continues to make better and more elegant solutions. From furniture to architecture to the tools we use every day, the unity of form and function can't help but make an impact on our lives. Balance, contrast, texture, color, and some deeper meaning. Art is design. Design is art. Life is kept exciting by the discoveries that emerge. They keep us looking forward, reaching for new ideas and innovations. Apple's 20th anniversary Macintosh, a design for the future. The trackpad on the 20th anniversary Macintosh has its own elegance of form and function. It takes the place of the traditional Macintosh mouse. If you haven't used a trackpad before, here's a quick overview. If you'd like to practice using the trackpad after this overview, there's an on-screen tutorial that you can take. The user's manual gets you started. When you move your finger on the trackpad, the pointer moves on the screen. The faster you move your finger, the faster and farther the pointer moves. You can tap directly on the pad to select and open items, or you can use the button on the trackpad the same way you'd use a button on a mouse. The trackpad can be removed from the keyboard and placed to either side by turning the keyboard over and unthreading the cable from its groove on the back. Here, on the back of the keyboard, you'll also find a leather insert which is used to fill the space in the palm rest once the trackpad is removed. Now you can simply slide the trackpad forward, replacing it with a leather insert that keeps your 20th anniversary Macintosh looking elegant, and place the trackpad where it feels the most comfortable to you. Your 20th anniversary Macintosh is far more than a computer. It's a complete entertainment center, featuring sound by Bose. The entertainment center includes TV and FM tuners, with coaxial cable connectors in the back for cable or antenna hookup, and video input ports that enable you to connect a VCR, video camera, or other video equipment. Buttons on the front of the 20th Anniversary Macintosh let you adjust the volume, turn the video player on and off, and even change channels. Macintosh computers have led the industry in design and innovation since the first Macintosh was released in 1984. The Macintosh continues to set the standard for ease of use and to be the multimedia and web authoring platform of choice. At the heart of the Macintosh is the Mac OS, which provides the graphical user interface that changed the nature of personal computing from simply text to a rich world of windows, icons, and pictures. Apple introduced its first external CD-ROM drive in 1988 and began including internal CD-ROM drives in its computers in 1992. Seeing the potential of CD-ROM technology for enriching the experience of personal computer users, Apple Computer helped create a critical mass of CD-ROM drives in the marketplace, which in turn encouraged the explosion of CD-ROM titles we have today. The 20th Anniversary Macintosh features a front-loading, spindle-mounted CD-ROM drive that plays audio CDs as well as multimedia and other offerings on CD-ROM discs. The elegant clamshell door opens to reveal the spindle, on which you place a disc. The door opens automatically, allowing you to remove the disc from the spindle. For your enjoyment, the 20th Anniversary Macintosh comes with a set of audio and multimedia discs. You'll find them in a special leather CD disc holder that will help protect and organize them.
Boop. <laughs>